Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the Director of Training with .NET New Corporation. In this short video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to use the HTML module within .NET Nuke. Now, we're going to be using the HTML Pro module within .NET Nuke Professional, but all the features we're going to demonstrate in this video apply to the .NET Nuke Community, Community Edition as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll talk about how we can get in and edit content within the HTML module. We'll talk about some of the basics that the module provides you from an editing perspective. And then we'll take a brief look at the module settings uh, specific to the HTML module. So here we have a fresh .nuke 5.6.0 professional website. It does have a couple of additional pages created from previous videos. If we go to the page one page here, we have a HTML module listed on the page. Now when you place an HTML module on the page, if you don't configure the content, the module will actually go away when you switch into view mode or when you view the website without edit rights, without edit permissions. The reason for that is without having any content configured in the module, the module basically turns itself off. So the first thing we would need to do is we need to get in and start editing that content to provide some information for the module. We can do that by going to the actions menu for the module and choosing the edit content option. Now in order to get to an actions menu for .NET Nuke modules, you need to be in edit mode up at the top of the control panel and have edit permissions. So if I go into edit content, that's going to take me to the edit interface for the HTML module. Now the edit interface provides you an, a rich text editor using the standard rich text editor included within .NET Nuke. Now, Starting with version 5.4 of .NET Nuke, the Telerik RAD editor is the default editor in DNN. Though with the flexibility of .NET Nuke, you can actually change the rich text editor that's in use in a majority of the modules on a .NET Nuke website. The HTML module will, will use whatever setting is configured within the standard .NET Nuke settings. In a future video, we'll show you how to change out that rich text editor. Well, what this provides you is an interface to come in and start providing content with the, within HTML for the HTML module. So we can come in and just provide some content here. And with the toolbar interface in the rich text editor, we can highlight text and then make it bold. We can make it italicized, we can make it underlined, or even strike through text. So we have a very Microsoft Word-like interface here with the Rich Text Editor. There are a number of other features in the Rich Text Editor that will become useful for you, including the Image Manager, which is the icon right here. If we click on that, that's going to load up a window, which will allow us to browse for an image located on the web server or within our specific portal. And we can see there are a number of images here. I can select from the list and click on Insert, and that will insert the image into our HTML module content. Now also within the image manager, if I go back to that icon, I can actually upload images or upload files directly to the web server. So if I choose the upload option, I then get to browse for a file locally. And I'm just going to grab an image that's on my desktop and then click on upload. Donna Nuke will go through and upload that file. Now, because that file already exists on the server, it does not allow me to upload it again, but I can go ahead and select that file. As you can see here, click on insert, and then the image will show up. Now the HTML module using the rich text editor just provides you kind of a rich interface for dealing with HTML. You can also switch into the HTML view using the tab at the bottom, and you can see the direct HTML that gets generated by the rich text editor. If you'd like, you can come in here and provide your own HTML. and switch between the design and the HTML view. So we can go through and use a number of the various features within the Rich Text Editor to provide content in our site. Now there's also options for attaching documents, for including Flash, and including other media into the Rich Text Editor as well. Now when you're done making changes to the HTML module, you can simply hit Save, and that's going to save your content into the database for .NET Nuke. Now each module will have its own data structure. The HTML module has its own collection of database tables and the information for that module is stored there within those tables. 
One of the features of the HTML module in both the community edition and the professional edition of .NET Nuke is that as you make changes to the HTML module, the content is saved and versioned. So we made our first change and we now have a version history down below. And if we were to make an additional change, we would have an additional version. Once we have more than one version, we have the ability to roll back to various versions of our content within the HTML module. Now the community edition of .NET Nuke is limited to five previous versions, where the professional edition defaults to five previous versions, but has a configuration where you can increase that number from five to another number, so you can store a larger number of versions in the HTML Pro module included with .NET Nuke Professional. So if we come in and make a change, we can save that change and have it displayed there on the, on the page one where we were making our change. So that's a very basic overview so far of just dealing with the HTML module. Now there are some custom settings that are specific to the HTML module. You can find those settings by going to the settings for the module through the actions menu. Now at the top of the module settings page you're going to find all of the settings that apply pretty much to every type of module. But if you scroll down past the page settings section, then we get into the HTML module settings that are specific to this module. Well, the HTML module has a couple of different settings available to us. An option for replace tokens, which will allow us to use some standard .NET Nuke tokens within our HTML content, such as, as a token for username or current date. Now you can get to some of the help text for the HTML module by clicking on the question mark and you can see some formatting of the various tokens that you can utilize. Now here within the HTML Pro module you can see we can change the maximum history for the HTML module for the number of versions. We can also choose different workflows and the, the HTML module out of the box in both Community Edition and Professional Edition comes with two enabled workflows. Direct Publish, which means when you hit Save, the content is immediately published and live. Or Content Staging, in which when you hit Save, the content is saved in a, in a draft state and not published until someone clicks on the Publish option and actually publishes it. Now, the HTML Pro module allows you to manage and customize workflows, so you can create multi-step approval processes within your workflows. You can check out some of the other videos that we'll create later on to customize the, the workflows within the HTML Pro. Now when we're defining the workflow for an HTML module, we can choose to apply the workflow to all the HTML modules on the current page, or apply the workflow to all of the HTML modules on a website. So you can go through and customize those. And we'll go ahead and click on update here just to make sure we save our settings and we've now updated the settings for our HTML module. So as you can see we can use the HTML module in a variety of ways to just go through and place in HTML content. If you're trying to place in JavaScript or you're trying to place in uh, embed tags for YouTube videos, the HTML module can be very useful for including content into your .NET Nuke website. For more information about our .NET Nuke training, I'd encourage you to check out the training page under our resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a variety of free .NET Nuke videos, as well as our schedule of upcoming instructor-led training webinars, as well as information about our on-site and online training options. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.